Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to search data using the newly introduced basic search mode in Sumo Logic. When I open a log search page, now I have the option to switch between basic and advanced mode. The basic mode provides novice users or new to log search on Sumo Logic with a query builder workflow to select the data tier the indexes of interest and filter based on the metadata and eventually zero in on the logs of interest through the specific keywords. With basic mode, I can select from the drop down which data tier the query should run against, either continuous, frequent or infrequent. In this example, I'm choosing all data tiers here, I can see this highlighted box showing the estimate of how much infrequent data will be scanned for this query that uses all data tiers in the scope. Remember, the data tier field shows up only for those customers who have subscribed to more than one data tier in their account. For all other customers who only have continuous tier, there are no choices to make. You can refer to the searching data tiers document for further details. The next option is to select the index, also known as partition of views in Sumo Logic. Here, I can type or select from the scheduled views and partitions or indexes already configured and available based on a user's role-based access control. For a partition, additional information regarding each partition indicates the tier to which the partition or index belongs along with the term index. And for scheduled view, it indicates the tier to which the view belongs along with the term view. When I click in the text area and begin typing, an autocomplete list begins to offer suggestions. Click a suggestion to automatically fill in the value in the text area. I can continue to add additional partitions as desired. For this video, I am selecting two partitions created for the checkout services from two different tiers. Next step is to filter the data. In this case, I can type in any metadata fields I want to run the query against. Once I select an inbuilt metadata field, I need to select a value for it. Again, an autocomplete list offers all configured metadata filters which can be used to identify the data set. Here, I choose underscore source category equal to training slash travel slash checkout, basically the checkout data set. Once I have entered a filter, you can also see a gray no symbol or prohibition sign to the left of the filter. Use this filter to negate the selection by clicking the no symbol. Finally, the keyword. Here, I can type a keyword search expression in the text area. Let's enter booking or success as a keywords. I select the time range here and click the search icon. Sumo Logic starts searching for the logs for the selected time range. Note the scan size changes and as the search completes, the actual scan size is displayed in green. On clicking the status area under the histogram, a pop-up with more detailed information appears. Isn't it simple and intuitive? Now you may wonder how the search mode is remembered. The search mode is basically a query mode preference today. As a user, when I save a query in basic mode, either when I share or reopen the query, it will open in basic mode only. For all other scenarios in terms of drill downs from a partitions panel, or from the dashboard panel and so on, the query will always open in the advanced mode. Sumo Logic recommends new users to use basic mode. It's an easy to use structured query builder to help you write and complete simple log searches quickly and easily. It guides users through query building based on how the data has been set up in your Sumo Logic system. The basic mode helps you and all those who are new to Sumo Logic to start performing loss search queries with minimal training. I hope this video helps you search data using basic mode in Sumo Logic. 
Thanks for joining.